Hi friends! <clears throat> I just wanted to jump on and uh, give you some ideas of how to deal with us all being uh, socially distanced from each other and um, making sure that you don't hear the words boredom too much in your house or feel it yourself. So um, instead of focusing on why we're all stuck inside, I thought we could focus on the future and what's to come, which is warmer weather. Spring is coming, which means spring cleaning. Yeah, I know everybody's favorite topic, right? But um, in reality, a lot of us, um, you know, we clean our houses every day, um, clean our different surfaces and things like that. And I think a lot of the time something that gets forgotten or missed is our kids' toys. Um, and so what I thought was a great way to start spring cleaning, looking forward to our future, and maybe stopping the kids from saying how bored they are is to clean out their toys. So um, if you're like me, you thought toy bins were, would be a great way to organize uh, everything that they have and be able to grab it really quickly and easily and really all it is is a great place to dump everything into a bin so that it's not on the floor, which is still better. Um, but so the way to start for me is I make a big mess before I clean it up. So I dump everything out and then I wipe out the bins, um, disinfect them, you can put them back. And then you take all the pieces and you can wipe them down and disinfect them as well. Um, I actually just started using uh, Norwex products. And so if you're interested, let me know. I can get you in touch with someone who sells them. This is not a sales post. It's just that she, she taught me that disinfectant wipes don't disinfect the way that we thought they did, um, which was incredibly intriguing to me and to learn about Norwex and how it actually disinfects your surfaces. Made me feel a lot better, especially about stuff like this, like your dirty kids toys. Um, so then you just wipe them down, you can put them back in the bins. Um, but this is also a great time to throw out some of that stuff that maybe they don't need, things that might be broken or missing pieces. Um, it's also a great time to donate um, just things that are in good shape but your kids don't use. Um, I think it's great if you can get your kids involved. Um, this will, you know, I don't know if it'll stop their boredom, but it'll definitely give them something to do and a way to participate um, in family activities. And um, you can always give them an incentive too. I know, you know, we don't necessarily love to incentivize just doing, you know, the regular household chores. Um, but if incentivizing them helps them to help you, <laughs> hey, maybe it's worth it. Um, you can guarantee that favorite toy they were looking at. Um, but hey, if it's something to do while you're in your sweats or your PJs and something to keep you busy during this relatively boring time. So if you have any other thoughts or things that we can do, please uh, reach out to me. I would love to share. I want to share some tips throughout the weeks of us being home so we're not all, you know, stuck inside and bored and have no idea what to do. So thanks and I look forward to hearing from you.